Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks. Have you felt it? There's been an awakening. Yes, Star Wars The Force Awakens has officially been released, so you know i got to do some Star Wars fan art. And I did this little sketch right here, just on regular copy paper, uh, just kind of on a lunch break. Um, but I, I kind of, it was, wasn't something I was really planning on doing, but then I kind of liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on the light table and transfer it over to some Bristol. Uh, it's going to be a little hard to see because in order to see my light table, I've got to dim some of the lights. But, uh, so yeah, I wanted to do, I didn't know what to do because I had done a lot of these characters. I did, I did, I think a Ray skits card and then earlier on I did a version of Ray where she had kind of her mask and the kind of turban thing on and everything with BB-8. And I did a sketch card of Finn, but not like a full body thing. So, I don't know, I figured let's put them all together and maybe do sort of a, maybe a little bit of different style, kind of more more of a, a cute type style. But, yeah, so, man, needless to say, I am just, uh, I'm like at the edge of my seat. Uh, so, as I'm recording this, it is 7 o'clock my time on Thursday. Obviously, um, you know, I, I got to do these a little bit in advance. Um, so, people are actually lining up. My brother actually is in, or actually he's probably watching it now because I think it premieres at 7 o'clock and he went to the 7 o'clock showing. And it's, uh, it's kind of a little bittersweet thing because I usually do go with my brother. Last few times, like with the prequels, I went with my brother and a friend. Um, but it's just, it's just kind of a different, the way tickets are sold nowadays, it's kind of a different story. You know, it's, everything was online and uh, whereas before, you know, you just kind of, you go get your ticket and then, I mean, the last Star Wars movie I went to, we didn't have to, you didn't really order online or anything like that. So um, if any of you guys know, it was kind of a, kind of a fiasco trying to get tickets online. And like an idiot, I didn't even really think, well, you know, you could just go to the theater and buy a ticket instead of, have, you know, dealing with calling in all these places online. So I thought, you know, all the sites had crashed, Fandango or MovieTickets.com, all those sites. Um, now I'm trying to get through and my friend was trying to get through and everything and we're here and everything's like sold out and everything. So we're like, well, I'm not going to get to see it opening night. And uh, finally, my friend got through and he got us tickets for 2 o'clock two in the morning uh, Friday. So that's when I'm going, I say tonight, which seems like tonight, but it's actually early Friday morning. Um, but then, you know, my brother just went down to a theater and got tickets. Actually, he got tickets to, and he asked if I wanted, if you wanted to get me some. And I'm like, oh man, because I had already kind of committed to go with my friend. I knew I couldn't go to well, I, I mean, I would go to bull showing, but it would be kind of, you know, <laughs> it would be kind of difficult to do because I, I mean, I don't know, you know, I already committed, but you know, it's it kind of it kind of sucks because I usually get to go see with my brother, but um, but well, we're going to a like a Christmas party this weekend, so I'll get to talk to him about it and everything. So, so I don't know. I mean, I you know, there was this this type of feeling back when the the Phantom Menace came out. I mean, the even. You know, there was that excitement and everything, and then, of course, you, you get kind of let down and everything, but I don't know. I, s part of me kind of worries about that, but I, I don't know. I still think I'm in good hands with with all the work that J.J. J. Abrams has done. I like like pretty much um, everything that I've seen that he's done. Um, Disney just really knocks it out of the park with Marvel and, you know, and, uh, you know, all pretty much most of the things they touch, you know, you know Pixar and Marvel and everything and so I don't know I I, I just got a good feeling but the, I mean I'm just uh, one thing that I'm super excited about is is at this point going into it without knowing hardly anything and it really is that's that is really a feat when you think about it because now with the internet it's so easy to spoil things and just the fact that I you know even the advertising because you see so many trailers where they just give away the film and I, whether it's Abrams or whoever, somebody, whoever's influence in this, you know, making sure we really don't know a whole lot about it. We know just bits and pieces. So, I mean, I, you know, I don't know what to expect. And, and that's such a cool feeling. It's like hopefully going to be like, like, you know, the first Star Wars and everything. Just, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of beside myself. I don't know. I don't really, you know, 
what to think, but I'm super excited. What I'm going to have to do, you know, because I'm going to this late show, after I get done recording this, I'm going to get, I'm going to have it set to upload and I got to render the video and all that. Um, and then I think I'm going to sleep for about four hours and then wake up and go to the movie. The good thing is, and this is kind of a weird thing too, because now they've got theaters where you can reserve your seat. They've got like dine-in theaters and things. I'm not actually going to a dine-in theater, although they might, they might actually have like food and stuff you can order, but it's going to be two o'clock in the morning. So I don't think I'll be ordering any food, but, but you can reserve a seat. And in one way that's cool, but in another way it's kind of, that was part of the, the kind of the magic of going to the movie and waiting in line and just, you know, hanging out with everyone. But, you know, but even that, right, like right now, I just, I'm worried about somebody coming out of a theater that's already seen it, spoiling it or whatever. I actually have, I actually have earplugs that I'm bringing with me. That's, that's how crazy I am about, you know, not wanting to get any spoilers. So, um, so obviously there's not going to be any spoilers in this because I haven't seen it yet. So I'll put the little no spoiler warning because I want people to check this out. But after I see it, you know, next week, I don't, I really don't want to spoil it for anyone if people can't see it right away. But, but I imagine I'll probably want to do maybe a creature or something that we haven't seen, something we haven't seen that I'm going to, I'm going to see hopefully tonight that's going to inspire something else. So, or, you know, maybe next week I'll color it. I'm, I'm, I did use the, the, the manga ink that I usually use, uh, which means I can color this because it's unlike some of the other inks I use, I can't color because it'll, it'll kind of smudge, but, um, so maybe I'll color this in, but man, just the fact, yeah, I, it, it really is amazing to me that, that, you know, that none of this has really been spoiled because even when, like with the prequels, when Phantom Menace came out, uh, I think they even like released the crawl beforehand, like the opening crawl, like that was, they, they told you what that was going to be before, you know, before you saw the movie. And I remember going into that, we, we kind of, you didn't know everything that was going on because I try to avoid spoilers on that too, but I think they were out there and maybe they're out there for this movie too. And I just have, I just steered clear of them. But I remember, and I don't know if this is totally true, but I heard that the the when Weird Al was writing the his parody his American Pie parody the the saga begins for like Phantom Menace and everything. Um, I heard that he wrote that before the movie came out and he just kind of guessed and based on stuff that he had heard online and everything and kind of pieced together what the story is going to be just based on what he found online. Which, if you listen to that song, it's almost note by note in order exactly what happened. So I don't know if that's totally true, but I heard that somewhere. Um, I, it was it was a printed article, which might give it a little more validity, but I you know I don't know. But but yeah, that's kind of crazy. And I don't know. What about you guys? Hopefully, if you if you haven't seen it yet, or if you've already seen it by the time you're watching this, um, let me know what you guys think. Cause uh, and you know. I'm just so, the, 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 the cool thing is, you know, I gotta, I have to actually go to work in the morning after I, so I'm gonna sleep tonight, go see the movie, I'm gonna go crash at my girlfriend's house because it's a little closer to my work for about a couple hours maybe, at the most if I'm lucky, and then I'm gonna go into work. So, you know, the, I, I don't, you know, I don't think anyone else at my work is, probably would have seen it, um, so, you know, the fun thing about after you see these movies is just talking to people. So I imagine what might happen is just me and my friends hanging out. I might not get any sleep after that, just talking about it and everything. Cause I don't know, man, it's, I, I'm trying not to, you probably can't tell in my voice because you know, I'm kind of like hectic and all over the place and super excited, but I'm really, I've, I've been trying to put it out of my mind a little bit. So it's not, it's, uh, you know, I don't, I just don't want to get my hopes up too much, you know, but still in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, this is, this has got to be great. I hope so, you know, but <laughs> it's, anyway, let's turn our attention back to the drawing. So yeah, I thought I, I wanted to have kind of a, kind of a, some cool poses and, and do more of a, a, a cartoony. Well, a lot of the stuff I do is a lot more cartoony, but this is, and maybe it's just me. It's hard. It's like, when I say it's a little different style than most of the stuff I do, you may look at this and say, well, it's pretty much like everything he does, but I don't know. I can see the little differences and things like that. But um, I kind of, I, I wanted to go for a look kind of like if you've seen the little infinity characters, I, I love the design of those. Um, I'll change it around a little bit. I made them a little more, you know, 
I guess they're a little lankier and everything, real thin legs and stuff, but um, I really like the, the design of those characters, like all the superhero Marvel ones and the, and the Star Wars ones and everything, but um, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just, I, you know, I can't wait to see this and I can't wait to, to you know, to talk with people about it afterwards and, and, and just, uh, and it's, it's really, it's, it's, it, it, I mean, I kind of went through, through, I was working today and I, you know, I wasn't thinking about it much in the back of my mind. I'm like, yes, yeah, I'm going to see Star Wars tonight, but I guess it didn't hit me. And now it's really, as I'm <laughs> recording this and I'm watching, you know, watching the drawing and I'm thinking of everything, it's, it's really, you know, it's really starting to hit me that. Yeah, I'm going to go see Star Wars tonight. <laughs> it's going to be awesome, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, what's, uh, you know, I, I guess I I thought, you know, I thought I would have a lot to talk about. I, I've usually I run these about, I've been running them about 10 minutes long. And this one I ran a little bit longer because I thought, you know, I'm going to have tons to talk about. But like I said, it's just, now that, now that the time's here, I'm kind of at a loss for words. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I just remember, I mean, I, I can, I can remember the first time I saw Star Wars, especially Empire. I mean, I was, how old was I when I first saw Star Wars? Maybe six or seven, I think. And, uh, but when Empire came around, uh, I went to like the world, I think it was the world premiere. I know it was like the first day. And it was one of those things where we went to this theater called the Seneca Capri, which Sort of exists now, but sort of doesn't. They kind of, it was this big theater out here in Arizona where I live. Just It was just one screen. It was one of like these giant screen theaters. Um, and what they, they eventually like tore it down and they sort of moved it to another location, but it's not quite the same because now it's in a multiplex and it's, I don't think the screen's quite as big as it was. But it was just like an event and, you know, it was me and, you know, my dad and, you know, my whole family, my brother and everything. And, and I remember we were, we were waiting in line, you know, sitting there waiting and I had like the official movie magazine. And I just remember going through this thing while we're waiting, we we're talking about, it, you know, what's going to happen. And I'm trying to remember back, you know, back then if I, I don't remember if I knew going into it, like certain things like spoilers and, and it wasn't, I mean, word didn't travel as fast as it does now with the internet, but um, I don't know if I remember if it was, if I remember going in, if I knew going into it that like Darth Vader, oh spoilers for, if you haven't seen the Empire Strikes Back, <laughs> I think everyone knows this, but that Darth Vader was Luke's father or that, uh, that, yeah, I think everyone knew pretty, I know, I don't know about that, but I know everyone knew like who Yoda was because when you're watching the movie, um, you know, cause there was tons of pictures about Yoda and pictures of Yoda and all that, that kind of thing. But when you watch the movie, you'll know when Luke first gets there, Yoda's kind of testing Luke and, and he doesn't let on who he is. And he's kind of being a little funny and everything like that. And, you know, technically the way the story where you're, you're not supposed to know that he's Yoda yet, but I think everyone kind of knew just based on that. I don't know if everyone really knew I can't remember back if, if that was like a big shocker or if I've heard rumors that I think I had heard rumors, but it was, it was, I had to wait till I actually saw it before I realized that, that, uh, you know, Darth Vader was Luke's father and I'm, I'm kind of hoping it, and I, I think, I think, I don't know if there'll be anything like that in this or not, but it's shrouded with so much secrecy. There's gotta be some surprises and hopefully as we go on, I, I don't know, hopefully I'd love, I'd love to have a revelation kind of like that with, with this new this new series and yeah I just don't know I, you know it's all it's all a mystery and I'm, I'm I'm happy for that I'm happy happy going into it not knowing too much and I just I, you know I didn't even want to know if people liked it and I heard it you know it's so hard to try to avoid things but I did hear people saying that it was great and that it got I heard that it's like in the 90s on on Rotten Tomatoes but you know I um I don't know. I, I tr I'm trying to stick away, from, stay away from that, um, because I think when I, th I think even when Phantom Menace came out, I think people were like trying to like it, myself included. Kind of like, well, oh yeah, because they ask you about it afterwards, and you're like, yeah, the you know, the lightsaber fights were really cool. That lightsaber fight was cool, and you know, certain things. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know. I'm just 
like I said before, I think it's in good hands, and everything I've seen so far is has um, has really got me psyched, and I, I just I hope this is I hope this just brings back you know memories. You know, I'm not a kid anymore, but hopefully it'll bring back memories like when I was a kid and that feeling that I had, and I think that's really what they're what they're aiming for. Um, because there's there's going to be obviously new stuff like here I'm drawing three brand new characters I know really nothing about them just the basic things Finn was a like he defected as a stormtrooper you know Ray Ray is some scavenger we don't you know we may have an idea who they might be or what relations they might have but we're not sure at least I'm not sure BB-8's this new droid you know what what you know what role does he have you know. I hope they don't play the num play it kind of by the numbers like recreate Star Wars. I don't think they're going to do that. I hope it's not like BB-8's carrying some plans for some, you know, you know, some Death Star type thing. I know there's something that looks like a Death Star. Hopefully, it's something different. I'd hate for them to just repeat it because they've already done that twice. You know, even when they redid it the second time. But I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling on because I'm just super excited. And that's the way I get. But. Um, so I'm going to be wrapping this thing up. I'm just kind of going around it with the outlines and everything. Um, but, and then I'm going to, going to crash for a little bit. Hopefully I'll wake up. <laughs> Hopefully my alarm will, will wake me up. I'm usually not a real heavy sleeper, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But um, I'm going to take a little nap. I'm going to get up around probably, you know, 1 o'clock maybe. And drive down to the theater, have my seats reserved and waiting for me. Just go in there, sit down, and enjoy this, what hopefully is just an awesome movie. Thanks for following, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. That is all. Thank you.